Hey guys, welcome to Tidbit Tuesdays. So we've come up on the end of the special enrollment period. Um, unless you have a uh, circumstance that allows you to uh, enroll, you have a 60 day window. If you have a life change event, which is losing your job, um, losing insurance, a, a qualified COBRA plan, uh, and there's some other things, birth of a kid, there's some other things that qualifies you being able to make coverage changes. But in lieu of that, um, I kind of wanted to get a head start because regular open enrollment uh, will be November 1 through December 15th this year, unless they change it, but right now that's what it is, the way it stands. And so if, if you've selected a marketplace plan for this year, we probably should look at it again uh, in during open enrollment because uh, there will be some new plans. I've heard there's some new players, some new companies that are going to offer some plans. So there may be something better out there, but we can certainly look. Um, most people will get a letter in the mail telling them what their new premium will be because premiums always go up every year and that's our chance to look at things and something else that a lot of people don't realize that i help them with is filling in the gaps on any marketplace plan they have there's a couple different ways that we can do this so if you pick a plan that has a very high deductible there are some things we can put in place to help offset that deductible if something bad happens um, but there's also some things we can do that will become more like a gap insurance where a lot of people go, well, can you have two insurances? You can't have two major, well, you could have two major medical, but it doesn't make sense to have two major medical insurances because they both don't pay. Uh, the primary one will pay and the secondary one doesn't coordinate. They look at it and go, oh, we would have paid the same thing. We pay nothing. And then you've paid for two insurances. That's just silly. Um, unless you're given the coverage free, I usually don't recommend people doing that. On the other hand, I have people that have marketplace insurance, which is considered major medical, and then have a health insurance plan, which is not major medical. It can be either a private PPO or a type of indemnity plan that pays them benefits regardless of any other coverage they have. Well, why would I need to? Well, again, if you have a large deductible, that's one way to help min minimize your deductible, your out-of-pocket costs. Uh, and two, if you have a private PPO or an, or an indemnity plan, you could actually come out ahead when you have to see the doctor or have some surgeries or things like that. There's some rules for pre-existing, so I do review that with people. But I have had quite a few people, because of all the changes with subsidies and, and things, that had the private PPO plan is their primary plan, but now they need a surgery or now they need um, some kind of care. And because of all the cool subsidies, we've enrolled them in Marketplace as well because their original plan is going to pay cash to them. And then they use their Marketplace plan to go and have the surgery. There's a great zero deductible plan that Oscar has that you only pay copays. And that's a really good plan if you know you need a bunch of stuff done because, yes, you pay just a little bit more in premium, but you know what your out-of-pocket costs. You know, you can get a surgery and it only costs you like $1,300, $1,500, which is crazy, right? You know, most times surgeries are thousands and thousands. So, and then they also have the private insurance, which is going to give them, as an outpatient surgery, a benefit. And um, the this particular client is not going to be out any money. So there's ways to kind of leverage the way the system works to your advantage. And this is things that people just don't know unless they talk to me first. So we've got all these great subsidies that are available through the end of next year. So if you have a particular health situation and you want to talk to me about it, we can certainly look at it, see if any of the gap or supplemental insurances make sense for you, or maybe switch your marketplace plan when open enrollment comes up. Because if you know you have things, we need to plan that way. And if we plan that way, we can save a whole lot of money and you're not just stuck with what you have and you're paying $8,000 out of pocket to have a surgery when you could pay $1,500. So um, hop on over to my page, Daycap Consulting. 
book an appointment with me. I'm happy to review your existing coverages. Um, let's do it now before open enrollment crazy time happens. Because when that is, um, there's only one of me. So I'm hoping to get to as many people as possible. But if you book your appointments now, uh, that kind of guarantees you a spot where we can review your coverage. Even if you didn't use an agent before, I can pull your marketplace um, plan into my list and be able to see what you have and then make recommendations from there. And we may leave it as is, or we may just wait till open enrollment and see if we wanna make changes. So again, hop on over, over to my page, Jack Consulting, and make an appointment. Until next week, peace out.